Hey everybody, wanted to do a video on creating an automatic search in the MLS. It's really easier than you might think. So I'm gonna walk you through this, how to do it. It's quite simple. So as you can see, I am logged into the matrix already here. And so all you're gonna do is you're gonna go to search. Now you can search in a couple of ways. Of course, for this, we're gonna to wanna to go to the detail search. And then you can select, of course, active listings are gonna be what we're gonna be most interested in. And we're gonna say that our people are interested in a house, we'll say for 400,000, to 475,000, okay? And we'll say that they want at least a four or more bedrooms. And you can, of course, do whatever you want past there. We're, we'll choose single family residence on this one. Uh, it did highlight on my Chromebook, it doesn't show up very well. And fairly simple, you can, of course, add any of your other options down here that you need to add. Of course, we will go to map search so we can create the area that we want the search. And we can zoom in here to the greater Temecula area. And just for these purposes, I'm just gonna create a very simple box. So as you can see, we have 100 houses exactly inside of our search area here. So what I'm gonna do now to create the auto email for a client is right down here, there is a spot that says save. So we're gonna click save, and then you're gonna click new auto email. Now, if this is a new client, which it should be, you're gonna create a new client and you can you know, enter their um, information up here. You can put in a email. Now, I oftentimes see agents uncheck this reverse prospecting box. I don't recommend unchecking that. I recommend leaving it checked because what that allows other agents to do is when they have a listing that fits your client's needs, they can email you and say, hey, I haven't. I have this listing that just hit the market, or we just did a price reduction, and it's something that fits your client's search criteria. Now they can't get the name of your client. All it is is a number that's not associated. They can't steal your client or anything like that. But it is a way for other agents to connect with you and say, "Hey, this is hitting the market. It's brand new. You might have missed it. It's exactly what your client is looking for." Also, if your client hits the heart icon or the light bulb icon. Other agents can see that. They, once again, can't see the client's name, but they can see if they hit the hard icon. So this allows another agent to say, hey, want to give you a heads up. Your client hit the hard icon on my listing. Do you want to set up a showing with them? I've done this on numerous of my personal listings when I see that people hit the hard icon, and I've had agents set up showings and come and see the house. You know, we're busy. Real estate agents are busy. You can't be on top of everything 100% of the time, but if we help each other out, you can sell a lot more houses. So you enter their stuff. You can put a phone number and, a, and stuff in here if you want to. You don't have to. Um, you can, of course, uh, of course, change the salutation if you want. Um, I think I've had some friends in there that say, like, you know, uh, all kinds of crazy stuff in, sal in salutations just to have a little fun. And then you'll put a subject line in. Um, you can see I already have some that pop up automatically. Your home search is a very easiest, easy one. Now, welcome email. So they're gonna get two emails when, when you send this. The first one is gonna be an email asking them to verify their account. They click the link, they have to make sure that they're not a robot. And then after they click the link and they verify their account, they will get a second email with a list of houses. And just explain that to them because some people will miss the first email or it could go to spam. And then what you're gonna do is you will choose save down here. Now there's a couple of options on schedule down here. ASAP, don't ever check that. Unless it's like a super, you know, where there's maybe one or two listings every couple months that fit the search criteria. If you hit ASAP, every time there's a price reduction or a house comes on the market that fits the criteria, they're getting an email. So if this search that I just set up, somebody would get hundreds of emails a week. So don't do that unless it's a really unique property. Um, you can do daily down here. So daily, of course, is every morning they will get an email and then you can change it if you want to do a little less or if it's somebody that usually checks their email in the evening, you can switch it to PM. You can do monthly. The first of the month, if it's somebody that's, you know, maybe six months out from buying, seven months out from buying. And I'm not going to do this because I created a fake client, of course, but you'll just hit save. And then at that point, they will get the email and they'll be good to go. And so this is a very easy way to set up those auto emails. If you haven't experienced that or you haven't done it, it's very easy. Let me know if you ever need any help. Hope you're having a great day.